Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. My favourite day of Vlogmas because it's my birthday. And I'm fairly sure that my birthday present is letting me sleep in. I've just literally opened my eyeballs, but... Um, I was just listening to the, the Frenemies podcast where... <laughs> okay, so the Frenemies podcast, if you don't know, is Ethan from H3H3 and Trisha Paytas. And... I swear to God, every second episode, she storms out and has a mental breakdown. And it's entertaining as fuck. <laughs> but this last one, I just wanted to punch her in the face. I was just like, shut up. Like, she just takes one little tiny thing and makes the biggest fucking deal out of it. And I love this bitch. But, like, come on now. She's just... Oh, my God. God, like, started talking about their parenting and, like, bagging him about how he looks after his kid, about how they have a nanny and stuff. And when she started bringing that up, I'm just like, oh, my God, shut up, shut up, shut up. Like, she does not have a feel, so she just starts running her mouth and going insane. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then this is going to sound really stupid because... Just listen, like, the latest um, Frenemies podcast episode. It starts out, like, so promising. Like, they're doing beauty hacks. They get pizza. It's it's great. And then one little thing gets mentioned and she goes off. Like, full-blown goes off. Storms out. Tells everyone she hates them. Like, has the biggest fucking meltdown. And Ethan's just sitting there like... Uh, what? <laughs> like, Ethan's just, like, the sweetest thing. Because, like, if, I, if she was going off at me like that about my parenting, I would go off back. But he's just like, I just want to help you. I don't know how to help you. And I'm like, Ethan, fucking hell. Like, yeah, punch her in the head or something. Like, seriously, I would have got... I was getting angry listening to it. So I was listening to it while I was sort of laying down asleep. And, um, yeah, so I've woken up angry. <laughs> not too angry. I'm not angry. I'm angry at Trisha Paytas because, Jesus Christ, like, seriously, she just, like, snapped into a different person. And there's like, no, she just was, would not admit that she was wrong and just would go off her brain. And you can kind of like hear, you can sort of tell that she knows that she's wrong, but she will not admit it. And she'll just keep going and keep going. And it's just funny. Anyway, so there's my little analogy of that episode. Because I literally just stopped listening to it. So I had to say something because whenever I talk to Brendan about it, he's like, I don't care. So I thought maybe the internet would. <laughs> but um, if you watch the Frenemies podcast, let me know. Because it's the best thing ever. I love H3H3. It's like I have favorite YouTubers and stuff. But like I literally like am a member of the H3H3 channel. Because it's just so good. I just love Ethan. I just love Hila. I just, it's just, they're the best. Anyway, happy birthday to me. And a shout out to my friend, um, well, he's my friend Chris, but I'll call him Scrappy so he knows who I'm talking about for giving me my first happy birthday at like midnight. So thanks for that. Um, I didn't get it till this morning, but, um, you were the first, so congratulations to you. And uh, one thing I'm aiming to do today is... I just want to give you a cuddle because I have to go back. Mm. Hello, baby. I want to give you a cuddle because I have to go Oh, thank you, beautiful boy. And also, um, 
Me and Daddy are going to play All Star Smash together. Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> well, that was a bit cute. Earlier, because like, I woke up earlier and then I came back to bed. Um, when I woke up earlier, I go, hey, Dexter, did you know it's Mummy's birthday? And he goes, yeah, I know that. <laughs> I'm like, well, happy birthday to you too, cunt. <laughs> he, he got upset because yeah, we were saying that kids can't go to grown-up parties. Oh. And he thought, no, it can't be Mummy's birthday. I'm not allowed to go. It, we need to <laughs> sort out how to tell him that you don't have to have a party for your yeah. birthday. Um, he just thinks that if it's your Hello. birthday, you always have a party. Cause All right, I'll be in there soon. I told him Nanny and Poppy are coming today. And he's like, oh, are they coming for your birthday party? And I was like, no. And I couldn't explain it because it was like early in the morning. I'm just going to. I gonna... some Hungry Jack's breakfast. <gasps> Did you? How? Happy birthday. Uh, thank you. I love you too. Hungry Jack's breakfast. Fuck yeah. <laughs> and a sort of sleeping. Like I got up and I was like, mate, I'm going back to bed. And I listened to the whole podcast. And then as soon as it finished, I was like, mate, i got to record my reaction because Jesus Christ, that shit was hectic. If you watched it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments because I need to talk about this with someone that cares. Because <laughs> poor Brendan cops it all the time. And he's like, I don't care, but I will listen to you because I care. And he tells me useless shit all the time. Um, but, yeah, so I really want to have a chat about it. Oh, my gosh. So this is what I look like when I wake up. I've got my music headband, which is the best thing I've ever purchased in my whole life. It's very cheap, though. Um, so the charger, like, you have to, I have to, like, have this apparatus to charge it. Like, I plug the charger in and then I've got to bend it back and, like, clip it onto it because it has to be at a certain angle to charge. Other than that, though, best fucking investment of my life. Like, I just chuck it on, cover my eyeballs, night no, night, no, listening to whatever I need to listen to. I do meditation to, like, and hypnotism to go to sleep and stuff. And, yeah, it's just really good. Anyway, I've been talking for like eight minutes, so maybe I'll stop and get up. I'm going to be... S oh, also kind of want to say sorry for my shitty sound in yesterday's video. I did fix the sound and re-uploaded it onto Facebook, but um, I thought I didn't want to like lose all the comments and stuff. <laughs> Small YouTuber problems. <laughs> I don't want to lose my popularity. Yeah, so I um, I kept it on YouTube, even though it's terrible sound. Thank you to the person who pointed that out to me. Because I, I just kind of chucked it all together and didn't really do much editing. And then I realized, and I was like, oh my god. So I fixed it and then re-uploaded it onto Facebook, my Facebook page, uh, Cheyenne Jane. It's all linked down below. Uh, so if you feel so inclined, if the sound is too bad for you to watch it on YouTube, like if you're coming to here and you're like, oh, I might catch up on some other videos. Yesterday's video, Vlogmas Day 12, I re-uploaded it to Facebook because, um, of sound issues. It was really bad and I'm really sorry about that. Um, I'm also sorry about my stupid attitude yesterday. Because I was a bit of a bitch. <laughs> and I can laugh about it now. Uh, okay, yes. I will end this little clip here. Because it's now gone for <laughs> almost ten minutes. So, happy birthday to well, me. Well, Nanny and Poppy have arrived. So, um, and my... Sister-in-law is here too, so we are dressed and ready to go to Bunnings. <laughs> and also, I'm getting my birthday present from my mother-in-law, so that's going to be exciting. Um, just hanging out, 
between two bins and that one stinks. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So yeah, um, we're just leaving the kids with the grandparents for like a few hours while we get the stuff we were supposed to do yesterday done today. Okay. There we go. Wayne Bunnings and I just I spotted this and I had to take a million photos of it because it just looks so cute and I was like I am a professional photographer now <laughs> and we're super stoked because all the stuff that we needed we've got it already we haven't even been here for like <clears throat> 20 minutes and everything was way cheaper than we thought it would be so win-win for us I'm gonna see this is what we got sandpaper nice and cheap all right under 10 bucks already oh this will get it up a bit not that much Here we go. What? How much was that? How much was that? Eight dollars twenty. More than just lowest price. That was prices are just the beginning at Bunnings. Mate, twenty-two bucks. Cannot go wrong with that shit. I'm pretty stoked. Cause like that's all the stuff we need to repair the shit in our house, pretty much. There might be some other things, but that's pretty much all we needed. $22. I'm sorry, but that's fucking amazing. <laughs> now we're off to get my shoes. Hopefully this place will have what I want. Oh my God, look at all of these. Shine's been given too much choice. We're gonna have a problem. <laughs> Sold. Well, I actually, I like them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Reality. <laughs> I don't know if they fit properly. Like, I think my toe is like there. Also, I can't decide if I want a cool pair or just black. Okay, how are we feeling? Um. I didn't get anything. The main reason was because like the plain ones, which I liked, but like I've been wearing those same shoes pretty much. Like, yeah, they look different or whatever, but pretty much wearing the same shoes for however long. And I'm a bit over it. So I wanted something that was easy, like that would go with everything because my problem is I don't have a specific style I literally just wear what I feel like but I like to wear Doc Martens with everything so I wanted something to go with everything so I wanted plain but with like a little bit of subtle something different and recognizing yeah uh, just something that was like recognizably different than just your plain old Doc Martens and there was some there that were like with red shoelaces and red stitching which um they were my favorite and they didn't have them in my size and apparently they might not be available anymore so of course that's gonna happen my hair is terrible oh my god um anyway so we're not getting any from this shop but we're not going to go shopping around to 50 million different shops either mm -hmm. so um oh we have to go get a cake apparently According to your mum. Yeah. So we're not going to get any today. Maybe we could wait until we go, we get to Canberra so that, because there might be more of a selection there. But also, I now know what size I am in Doc Martens because <laughs> I tried a few on. So I can also shop online. So not all is you lost. Know Canberra shops online. Yeah, Canberra shops. about size and maybe get them to have them in. Yeah, them. that's a good idea. I could totally do that. So I'm not always lost. And then it's one less thing I've got to move. So it's fine. It's fine. 
I just guess I won't be getting a present for my birthday on my birthday. I mean, I got yummy food and I got to sleep in and Brendan changed nappies and did all that cool stuff, which is pretty much all I want for one day. So it's great. I do not, I just don't want to sound ungrateful because I am very grateful. I didn't even, I wasn't doing that on purpose. Oh. Like, I didn't think, oh, try his birthday, I'll go and change the kids and dress them or whatever else. Oh. Doing my thing. He was just doing what a parent does with yeah, their children every it. day. <laughs> well, that's fair call. Cool. Like, because we're doing all that next weekend. You're not getting double. Now that I know that it's counted this weekend, I won't do it next weekend. Yeah. No. You can't love double me, birthdays. Though. That's too many. It's birthday month. And then you'll be 36. No. Because uh, 30 you'll be two birthdays. 2.0. No, two, two birthdays. Okay, well, we'll <laughs> talk about this off camera. And we'll see who wins. Um, we have to do a massive lifeline shop. The thing that just brought me to that was because we're about to go past the Red Cross. Yay, Red Cross! <laughs> Dexter's smashed his face, so that's fantastic. I have just come home. And I've got a birthday present here. So I'm going to open it. It's from my son's best friend's mum. She brought us a light fitting that smashed ages ago. And she has the exact same one. And we were going to have to um, replace them. And we, I saw them in Bunnings. And to replace them is like $40. And she just gave us one. So that's awesome. And now I'm just going to see what this little present is. Oh, yeah. Between the lines, a mindful coloring adventure. The Bad Bones Club. Nice. You know, look at this. Oh, I actually like that. Oh, my gosh. This is the best coloring in book ever because, for one, I love coloring in books. And, two, it's not one of those really intricate, stupid ones that um, there might be a few. Hang on. No. Nah. This is awesome. This is awesome. That one. And there's something else in here, too. A candle. <laughs> I literally told her that Brendan doesn't like us having candles in the house and she gave me a candle. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh my gosh, I must thank her for that because that is amazing. I love it. That's the best present I've gotten today. Apart from my Doc Martens, which I know are coming. So that, that's pretty good. <laughs> so I have help. Yay for Rihanna. <laughs> Um, she's just undoing my bed for me. Look at the gross shit that's been under my bed for however long. Yeah, like, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> she's just been under my bed. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, we've pulled the mattress off and I have half done the bathroom. And then uh, while I was in the middle of doing the bathroom, I got a phone call from my friend, Brett. Hi, Brett from Dubai. Um, and that was awesome. And then I completely forgot about doing the bathroom and started doing something else in typical Cheyenne style. Um, so, yeah, now we're doing the bed. I might continue with the bathroom while that's happening. <laughs> How's that sound instead of vlogging? Yep. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the dust under the bed. Oh, my God. So we're not selling the bed now. We were going to, but... Money does not allow for us to have a new bed, apparently. So, eh, I found this while I was um like packing shit, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, I can cover up my dirty fringe," and I look like an idiot. I've just been cruising around all day with this ugly thing on my head. So that's fun. Um, the state of my house currently. Isn't it beautiful? Um, we've done a lot of progress. We've got Brendan's parents, Brendan's sister, my friend Rhiannon, which you saw earlier, her son, and 
Dexter and Saxon here. Um, it's a bit quiet at the moment because Brendan's taken the kids across the road to the park to let off some steam because they're all a little bit ah! stir crazy. And um, it's Dexter's last day hanging out with Rhiannon's son, Quinn, who is is Dexter's like BFF like he actually thinks that they're brothers and um like Rhiannon's son thinks that Quinn and Dexter are brothers and it's it's very it's a very cute little relationship they have um it's the last time that he's going to see him for a very long time because she's going to like visit us and stuff in Canberra and vice versa probably so yeah it's all a little bit uh, emotional for the boys because they, they know something's up like they know that they're not going to see each other but they qu don't quite comprehend it so they're all emotional and they don't know why and yeah so Brayden's just gone taking them over to the park to distract them for a bit I've still got this going on which all of this needs to go into the garage and um, I've got this paint spot right here I need to like sand it and paint over it. We got the paint like um, color matched at Bunnings and we got a little paint pot for it. So I don't know how, who's gonna do that cause I don't think I am. I want to do it, but I don't think I should cause I will 100% fuck it up. But whatever. Um, I have had so many awesome messages. I lost my phone for like three hours because um, as you saw before, I was undoing my bed and so that's all done. And then we were, we undid the boy's bed and you know, just got stuck into packing and stuff. So I lost my phone for a while. And then when I finally found it again, I opened up Facebook to my absolutely 100 a million bazillion favorite person um matt or all right hey had like put up a happy birthday thing in his little group on facebook and got everyone to wish me happy birthday and i was just like oh my god and he posted photos of us and i was like oh my god you actually want to associate yourself with me <laughs> Oh my gosh, like he's a long time friend. So um, it's it's just very special for me for, because I love doing special things like that for people. And then when people do it for me, it's like, <gasps> yeah, so I love it. So thanks. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure Matt's watching. Yeah, right. If Matt, if you're watching, comment please, because I don't believe you would be. Let's see what happens there. So this is the garage at the moment pretty good I still got to do a load of washing in there um wherever and yeah so we pretty much just have to we oh my god we got the covers on the couches my mother-in-law is the best she um helped me put the covers back on the couches so um that's not good I just put sheets and blankets over the top so they don't get dirty again um look oh not so ghetto, yay! <laughs> and I'm just halfway through putting all my, taking my clothes out of the suitcases and into these bags, which surprisingly, I didn't need as many bags as I thought I did, so that's good. Um, and yeah. And then it's very, very soon, like in less than half an hour, I'm gonna go to bingo. I think I went last year as well and I've filmed it. I don't know if I'll have, if I'll film it this time, but we'll see how we go. I'm going to go to bingo for my birthday with Rhiannon and it's going to be top notch. I can't wait. Very excited for that. Um, and I'll do all that while hopefully Brendan just keeps pottering along here because um, for half the day, my mother-in-law was like, just kind of chilling out and then we were talk telling her about how we're actually we're leaving on Tuesday and she's like Tuesday no you're leaving on Wednesday I'm like no 
we're going on Tuesday. She's like, oh my God, that means I have to leave tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah, so we should probably get a move on. And then it kind of clicked that, oh, maybe we should start doing some stuff. And because she's an absolute machine, she got a lot done in like a very short amount of time. So I am uh, so thankful for that. <sighs> I'm feeling so much less stressed now. I'm, it's now that it's happening. Oh my gosh, it's happening. I've got like two nights left in this house. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Having a munch? <laughs> well, we're at Bingo and I haven't won anything yet, but the night is still young. <laughs> and I keep like forgetting what I'm doing like halfway through. And there's, have you noticed how there's like one slow one this one's really fast and this one's really slow mm. so when I do this one I'm used to the slowness and then when I get to this one I'm like ah! yeah. <laughs> so. well, it's good times it is freezing cold outside no absolutely well, I'm so cold like I was shivering you'll have to hold me I will we'll have to hold each other <laughs> Eighty-five, eighty-five, forty-nine, four-nine, sixty-four, six-four, five on its own, five, sixteen, one-six. Well, I didn't win anything, but I'm home now, and of course, my beautiful mother-in-law has pretty much done absolutely everything possible that could be done we just have to put a few more like a few little bobs odds and ends and stuff in boxes and pack the tv up and like leave it here for the removal it's like the car's packed our clothes are packed um she's just gone absolutely nuts she's set up our room like full of mattresses so the, we're all just sleeping in the one room um <clears throat> like me and brendan and the kids and um, yeah, it's good. What a, that was a great birthday present. I love that. So um, this video is probably going for too long and it is now like 8 p.m. and I haven't even edited it. So I'm gonna go. Uh, question of the day is, do you gamble? And what's your favorite game to gamble on or whatever? Like, cause I play bingo and I love bingo. I love pokies though, it's really, Bingo is way more fun though, because you're not just like pushing a button and stuff. But if you gamble or whatever, let me know what your favourite is. Um, yeah, happy birthday to me. That's a whole nother year gone. <laughs> I think we're going to do some more celebrating when we're actually at the house. Because like, I think we got cake. We just never did the cake. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. See ya.